Hey there Scorpio, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for March 6th through to the 12th. Let's see what's on the cards for you. I am jumping straight on in here and we have, oh, Ace of Swords, breakthrough, victory, a powerful awakening or insight, maybe a truth that you're going to learn that's going to change the game for you. Um, this can also be a communication that just cuts through and changes everything. So what is this about? Let's keep going. Um, aces, of course, are new beginnings. They can become new starts for you. We have got the star. My goodness. Okay, Aquarius energy. This is an incredible energy of um, divine purpose. Okay, um, often the star, star card here um, is on the other side of a healing journey or a release, okay? It's actually the energy, um, you know, that follows on from the tower as the calm after the storm. So maybe, you know, you've had your foundations shaken or maybe you've had to, you know, you've had a tower moment. This is the indication that that was happening to realign you to where you're meant to be right now in your life. Because this is the card of divine purpose, not what you've maybe been planning or choosing, but what the universe knows that you've come here to do in this life, right? So it's a beautiful energy of stars aligning, but maybe it's felt a bit chaotic leading up till now, but ultimately the victory is yours. Oh yeah, the death energy. Yeah, I knew it. So, you know, there's been some kind of ending or release, or maybe you're going through that at the moment, shedding an old skin. But look, I don't know if you can see very much into this card here, but this really is a liberation or an emancipation energy. You are freeing yourself. Um, it feels like the situation that you're letting go of stopped growing or had just naturally had its time wasn't in alignment with you because you are transforming and you are changing Scorpio. This is your major arcana after all, like you are the ultimate, you know, tran transformation God here. So um, yeah, I just feel like you, you're either releasing, letting go, or you're going through powerful, powerful changes or awakenings of your own. And because of that, a lot is going to shift and change in your life. Let's get your nine card block out here, Scorpio. I mean, two major arcana and an ace. It's pretty intense energy. Uh, to let you know, if you'd like a personal reading or healing, first link down below will jump you across my website to check those out. Grab my Learn Tarot Quick Guide if you'd like to get started interpreting the cards for yourself. Um, or to take a deeper dive, my paid course is The Initiation, where I teach a full Tarot Foundation Plus, my signature process for reading tarot. Uh, what else? Oh, Instagram. Yes, follow my Instagram account for daily readings. And I do pull cards for followers. I am planning on doing that this week. Time all going well. Well, so you'll need to be over there when I put the shout out. Um, please use the account link down below or the one I'm showing on screen now because there are scammers from time to time out there. Gonna speed things up. See you in just a moment. Okay, well Scorpio, these are your cards. Uh, so interesting with all the pentacles coming through, the first four cards. Then the Emperor and Judgment. Yeah, I knew that there was an intense energy here. So you are at a crossroads and you're trying to make some kind of big decision here. Um, it feels like you, you are being encouraged to, to, to free yourself, to liberate yourself in some way. Now, um, it feels like with the Knight of Pentacles first card out, you've been working towards some kind of plan here. This could be something that you've invested a lot of time, effort, energy, or, or money into. Um, I'm feeling a real energy around work, career, and actual investments or business, okay? Now, I think that over a period of time, you have really, really committed. You've been all in. Um, you know, put your blood, your sweat, your tears, your money, your learning, your development, and you know, all of those resources into this. But I think you've arrived at the point where there needs to be quite a powerful shift or change here to bring you the kind of success that you had been hoping for. Now, the Three of Pentacles is here, and 
you know this can be also around uh, a team or a group environment that you are um, involved in here or maybe it is around you know the people that are surrounding you or maybe that you know you're involved with in this um, you know in this opportunity here it just feels like there is going to be some major shifts here is what I'm feeling. It could also be um, a building project for some of you, like renovations or, uh, you know, an investment around property development. I know that's quite specific, but that is definitely coming through. Because at the heart of the reading is the Emperor. This is Aries energy here. And I think you've really been trying to set yourself up in some way. You've really been trying to empire build. Um, and position yourself in, in the place for long-term success here. So that's what the Emperor is all about, laying that firm foundation. And you've been working on that journey, and I think you have laid a certain amount of that foundation, but there's something that needs to change for the next um, part of this, okay? As the Emperor, it's about you know, really getting in control, taking the, the reins here and making some strategic changes. You could be the leader or the, you know, the boss of something here, of a project or a team, and you might be needing to make some strategic moves here. Um, or maybe you're hoping to move into this position and, and go up the ladder. You can see how the emperor is wearing the armor underneath the cloak here. It's like, Sometimes you need to take a step back, protect yourself from the emotions of people or um, energies that are around you, maybe your own emotions as well, and need to come at this from a purely like strategic and intuitive um, viewpoint here because it feels like there is a new move in this empire build for you. And being Aries energy, it's about being bold and taking, you know, calculated, um, calculated risks. It's not about sort of uh, leaps of faith. It's calculated risks here because I just feel that you're looking at some kind of really profound decision because you know you're at the crossroads or that things have come to a stalemate of growth where you're at. So with the Two of Swords, it's about seeing with all of your vision here and then making that decision from that place because the judgment card is the second to last major arcana the world being the one after that and the world card is the death of something here is the completion is the ending but that leads to a powerful victory because i feel like you're needing to make a change here or let uh, something go might be even letting a team member go. There's something that's going to lead to sort of rapid growth for you if you make that right decision. But I can see that it is a very challenging decision for you, Scorpio, and that there are high emotions here. So of course the Emperor is saying, you can't let that get involved. In the Judgment card, I see these small dark spaces, right? It feels like you've got yourself into a corner here where you can't really move or there's no real growth or in order to get to that next part you need to release from that and you've had that awakening right and you are needing to make a powerful judgment call now as the emperor would to liberate yourself to um to get back on purpose with this so that you can truly reach the next stage that you need to and if you do scorpio there's going to be a quantum leap in your progress. This is fast forward movement, but it starts, I feel, with a difficult communication. Okay, and that's why you need to be the emperor. Go about it in a just a factual way without emotions getting involved here. High Priestess also is saying, look, you know, there might be... Um, a truth revealed about this which is the catalyst for you actually finally communicating or letting someone go or making the change that you need to um the high priestess can she's she's not going to review she reveal sorry fully what is behind behind this decision right but what she's telling you is that it is fertile with new growth so it's like this is like a a karmic test here 
of stepping into your power and making calls, difficult calls, to get things moving and growing again. So I hope that makes sense for who it's meant for. But with the star in the reading, it's like there will be healing, there will be a rebirth here, and you will be guided to the next part on this journey. But it feels like you need to leave something behind or free yourself from something that is a block in the path. All right, let's get you a Divine Abundance Oracle card to close this out. Change. Yeah, there's got to be change here. This card says, when the ego finally sees the utter madness of trying to control everything, you come to a sacred crossroads in your evolution. So as the emperor, maybe you've been too much in control or trying to control things in a certain direction. And the universe is saying change is what is needed because you are at a sacred crossroads here and the decisions that you make are going to determine the ultimate outcome here. This change involves letting something go, releasing something that is either blocking the growth um, or is keeping things stuck or keeping you playing smaller here. The emperor's move is a bold move, it's a calculated move where emotions are set aside and that we really see the truth in the situation and make the moves from there. I feel like it starts with a communication that will be your breakthrough. Things will start moving quickly in a new direction and that ultimately that is a victorious direction for you. So that's what I have Scorpio. I hope that gave you some clarity, guidance and insight. I am cheering you on and wishing you all the best with this energy. Of course, I'm always sending you so much love and magic. Do take very good care. Bye for now.